There's one piece of jewelry made by Wilmington, North Carolina's Half United that is more popular than anything else the company makes. Definitely our triple bullet necklace. Um, this has just become like a symbol of, of what Half United is and our mission. The design is meant to be visually appealing, but also to make a statement. It's a bullet you wear around your neck and it represents your fight against global hunger. A bullet shell, it's a pretty in your face statement. You know, you can't miss this thing. So it reminds you of what you did. You fought hunger, you fed a child, and you know, you united with others to do that. We'll get to Half United's goal of fighting hunger in a bit, but as for the bullet jewelry, it is made of recycled casings. Our bullet casings are donated from Shooter's Choice here in Wilmington. And while it appears to be one bullet casing, it is actually three pieced together. We take three bullets and we stack them together, and the middle bullet is painted with car paint, um, and it's all hand done here in Wilmington. You take the 45, and uh, which is shined, it's drilled and then shined, and then you take the 40, which is painted, and you put the 40 inside the 45, and then the 9 millimeter inside of the 40. Half United makes jewelry and clothes, but its business model is not all about profiting from those sales. What we do is we give half of our profits away for every item we sell to feed kids in need. The brother and sister team of Christian and Carmen Black were taught early on that caring for others was a worthwhile goal. We grew up in a family where giving was definitely a, a higher priority. Their mother was involved in fashion and design, while their father was a third generation minister. We took the two um, and created a company that utilizes fashion, but at the same time gives to those in need. Truly the inspiration behind this company was really the way I was raised. Christian had already begun his own venture designing t-shirts when Carmen got a job with Tom's Shoes. That's a company that uses its profits to help those who are less fortunate. As soon as I got that job, I thought, this is it for me. I'm going to start a similar company. She called me and was like, hey, I have this great idea for a company. Do you want to team up with me? I want to give back. You want fashion. Let's join forces. And since then, that's what we've done. Carmen and Christian found that establishing the company so that each sale generated money to buy food for hungry kids was a perfect fit for them. It definitely means more um, that the reason you're coming to work isn't just to put money in your pocket. There's nothing really complicated about the structure of the company. It's simply automatic that profits are split down the middle. With every product we sell, we immediately take half of the profits and that goes into a separate account. And I am shocked that more businesses don't do this because what we do is we get half of our profits. Profit is what's left over. Anyone can do this. Um, I think it's a less greedy way of doing business. So far, in three years of operating like this, Half United's efforts have provided more than 55,000 meals. Almost a month's worth of meals can be given with the purchase of one of these necklaces. You know, I don't know, I think it's cool. <laughs> Funds go to nonprofits that are already working on the ground, some local. We feed locally in the States, um, directly here in Wilmington. Most overseas. Abroad, we feed in Liberia, in Fiji, and in Cambodia. While the fact that a purchase will help a hungry kid could influence someone to buy a necklace or a shirt, Christian and Carmen say that they want their products to stand on their own. We actually hope they go into a retail store and they pick up one of our products and they love it and then they flip the little card over that it comes on and then they read and they're like, oh my gosh, and this feeds a child they need. They figure the business model is sustainable only if people genuinely like what they are selling. If you don't have a great product that you're offering people, you're going to have one-time customers, and we want repeat customers that help further our mission. At the same time, the combination of an appealing item and the ability to help a worthy cause can create a lasting connection between customers and Half United. If they like our products and then they learn the message, they're usually, they usually become instant supporters. The fact that you're buying something for yourself, but you're also providing something for someone else, I think that means a lot to customers. There's no doubt that Christian and Carmen are fully committed to the company and the cause. No one here at Half United is really um, making any money yet. That's three years of working without generating a whole lot for themselves. We started this business with $200. We, to date, have not really been paid uh, you know, on a consistent basis at all. And we're still plugging away at it. It's difficult to make a profit. Um, 
But Carmen and I truly believe that the more you give, the more you'll receive. While making money hasn't happened yet, the feeling is it's not too far away. We only have to sell 19 necklaces a day to really be able to grow as a company as a whole. And so that's a really attainable goal for us. Sales are coming. So far, every month has been an improvement over the month before. Combined with sales over the internet, the jewelry and clothing has found its way into more than 60 retail stores. Half United products can be purchased in 18 different states. It's a positive trajectory, meaning one day soon, maybe Christian and Carmen will be making money and feeding a growing number of kids, even though from their perspective, they're not the ones providing the food. At the end of the day, we never want our customers to be mistaken. They are the ones feeding these children.